Hi guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. We are still keeping up with Vlogmas. I am so happy about that because it is pretty difficult to keep up with Vlogmas, but I did this last year. I got inspired by Sierra to do this and it was super fun last year. Um, I wish my mom or one of them would be in here like working on it with me, but Valerie's working on cleaning stuff out. As you've seen in my previous videos, we have like so many trash bags because we're cleaning stuff out of her study and everything. Um, and Sherry's at work. And there's not really any other like good time to film this. And we're watching Elf tonight. I am just rambling on and on. I'm gonna try to not edit this video that much. Um, so sorry, there's not a lot of jump cuts. I am just like really tired and anyway, but I love Vlogmas, so that's besides the point. We got the fog bank red wine here. I think this is still good, hopefully. Um, I'm saving the other bottle just to take to my friend's house. And then I have this wine glass here. So we are going to pour ourselves a glass of wine. There we go. That was easier than I thought. Just going to pour it up there. Oh, I wanted to use the other glass. You know what, I'm gonna be extra and I'm gonna pour this into the other glass because I like those glasses a lot better than these. But let me just taste it to make sure it's good. I know, the wine comes before the gingerbread decorating. It still tastes fine. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Uh, I'm gonna do it over this plate, so just in case anything gets on there. Okay, okay, she is looking good. I totally forgot we had these wine glasses and I like these a lot better because they're lighter. These are super heavy. I know I'm being like really picky about the wine glass, but I'm just gonna fill this up a little bit more and then we'll get started here. Cheers to Vlogmas and somehow succeeding, you know. You know what, maybe I do want that in the frame a little bit because it's wine and gingerbread making decorating whatever so this is the kit i bought this is from target i'm surprised they had it still um, i'm just gonna move the plate real quick so i'm gonna open this on up and we're gonna see what's inside um on the back they have everything that you need but i'm just gonna open it up and we'll go from there i hope the gingerbread isn't cracked because that would be so sad okay so it comes with the gingerbread obviously and it smells so good. You guys know I love gingerbread. Then we have the frosting, knead slash massage, icing pouch for one to two minutes. And we have this cardboard thing, which on the instructions, it tells us like what to do. Then we have, ooh, this is cute. Just like little candy. These are lights. And then we have um, holly and like mistletoe. We have these gumdrops. And we have these little Christmas tree gummy things. I hate gummies, by the way. Then we have these candy cane mints. Those look super fun. Okay, so I'm going to try to put this thing together. And we going to montage this because this might take a while. So, enjoy me trying to figure out, like, how to do this. Your girl's going to need some time to, like, figure this little thing out. Because this just does not come natural to me.
Okay, so I got everything assembled and I just want to show you guys before I start decorating it because honestly, I love a naked gingerbread house. I know that sounds weird, but I think it's just so pretty. I added some snow effect on it. The little chimney thing actually stayed, which I'm shocked. It's probably going to fall off, which is totally fine. Like some of the stuff, I don't know how I got to stay on, but it is on and I'm going to start decorating now. To be honest, I'm going to kind of go off of what the box is just because honestly, when it comes to this stuff, I'm just not very creative. Like, I don't know. I like to follow a guide and have it just be organized and stuff. Also, I kind of want to chit chat with you guys and not like have to think like, what am I going to do? They have some of these peppermint little things up on the roof. Also guys, when I was getting all of the icing out like this, my hands are so sore. Like, oh my goodness. This takes a lot of like force to get the icing out. And I low key think they put some type of glue in this because I swear it actually is sticking, which I don't know. I feel like everyone has trouble like getting their gingerbread houses to like stick and work, but I've never seemed to have that issue. So yeah, I don't know. I've just never really had an issue with my gingerbread building skills. Um, it's just, I always have an issue of like what part goes where, but once I like figure it out, it's like easy for me. And what my technique is, is holding the item like the roof, like I count, like I'm like curling my hair. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Like I actually count to make sure that I'm giving the gingerbread enough time, you know, to, to work. So, all right, I have four little gumdrops here on top. Cute, I have like one extra one. They put some like snow on top of here, but I wanna like leave that alone until like the very end because I don't want it to fall off. We use these things for the front here. I know you guys can't really see anything, but I'll show you guys after obviously. So they iced the front uh, border and then they put these gumdrop things. This is always so hard, like icing when the thing is already built. That's why I low key like think that I should have decorated before. So what is your favorite movie for the holidays? I think mine would definitely be Elf because it's so funny. We're watching that tonight. I'm so excited because it is definitely one of my favorites. It makes us laugh so hard. It's so hard to talk while doing this. Ooh, I really like how it looks because it looks like the snow is like kind of falling off, which is cool. Maybe I should have opened this before I started the gingerbread stuff. Oh, the decorating, I should say. I swear, man. Okay, so they kinda, I don't really care about like being exactly with exact with the colors. So see, like I'm holding it for a good like uh, three to five seconds, like one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. Yeah, that's kinda like how I do it. I mean, I don't know. Oh no, see, they're already like falling off. Maybe I should do some reinforcement. Yeah, the other one's falling off too. Maybe I should just do this. The decorating part is more stressful for me than the putting together part. I have no idea why. But for me, it's just like harder because then you have to like work with the candies and it's just difficult. I'm gonna go back to time lapsing it, montaging this because it's taking forever. <laughs> And I don't want to like be chitter chattering because I have no idea what to talk about. And this is actually harder than it looks. Okay, so far this is what it looks like. I know it's like a little rough looking and it's just hard because the roof has already fallen off like twice. It's really hard because you can't decorate the roof because it's too heavy and it won't stay. So I'm going to use these little lights right here and put here. So maybe that'll work better because these things were just too heavy. So I just put them there. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time 
Okay, so before this thing like totally falls apart, I just wanted to show you guys. It's not all the way completely done because I want to put these trees around in the uh, front and on the sides here. But this is what the gingerbread house looks like. I have the lights up here because the gumdrops were too heavy. So I have the lights here. This is just a hot mess. Like I don't really know what's going on with this. Um, I tried. The door, it's just too hard to control the piping bag, like when you're working vertically. You need the thing flat, like horizontal, so you can like draw on the thing and have it like dry. Of course, me not thinking, I put the thing together and then tried to, as you can see, draw on. It didn't really work, but it just doesn't make any sense to try to draw when the thing is vertical. The sides I'm actually really proud of and the top I'm proud of. It's really cute with the little candy cane things. There's Valerie. And um, the sides I just did some mistletoes. The back, I didn't do anything because it's the back. I just don't have the patience for it, to be honest. I think the front's okay. I'm definitely going to next year just try to decorate the things before I assemble it. At least like the doors and sides and stuff. I need to remember that for next year. But this is what the house looks like. I just want to show you guys before it falls apart. And then this thing, yeah, I don't know. I had to make a reinforcement back here so it'll like stay up. You know how things have reinforcements? Well, this wasn't staying, so I just put this gumdrop here to be a reinforcement. I tried. This was my, this is Instagram. This is reality. <laughs> But hey, it was like fun and why not, right? Like it's something fun to do. Um, I'm gonna put the trees on now. Okay, so this is the gingerbread house completed. Looks so good. I did put a design on the front door because I just, it felt like it needed something. So this is what it looks like. I put the trees around the side. I did a little design on the back cause I just felt like, again, it needed something, you know, get the 3D effect. And then this is the other side. And yeah, that is my gingerbread house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.